Where will you go, O child of the flame, when your land is torn asunder? Who will lend you aid in your time of need? Where does the phoenix fly to seek assistance when his master fights for his very country and salvation? Will you go maybe to Solana, that land of light where heroes dwell? But alas, they have their own battles to fight right now. They seek your aid, they do not have any aid to give. Or perhaps to the land of Arya, that magic and wonderful place, where they have much power lurking beneath the surface. But alas, they spend far too long celebrating the joys of living and carnivals to be of any assistance. But no, instead, turn your attention to the land which shares that sacred of arts with you. Turn to the clans of Mysteria, who may lend you some assistance and some extra tools in your time of need. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, not my usual style, but, you know, myself and uh, old folks here were happy to try something new for the spoiler video. It does move. My hands were in green screen in the back, and I need to get a proper green screen. But basically, you turn this lever here and his wings flap. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is the Lego Forks toy. Um, unfortunately, I'm not blaming LSS for this. I bought this toy with kind of like the optimism that I would get a Fi spoiler. But I don't think I actually told them that I was buying uh, a Lego Phoenix. So they didn't, you know, we'll see in a second the spoiler they gave me. But uh, as you might have guessed from the video, it is not in fact a draconic uh, card, but rather a uh, just a regular old ninja card. It is very good, and I think it works very well in the themes of this set. So we'll talk about those quickly, and then we'll go into the spoiler video. So obviously, of course, to start us off, we have Fi himself gets this Phoenix Flame into the graveyard. Phoenix Flame, of course, being a 0 for 0 um, attack that has plus one if you have two or more Draconic Chain Links, uh, which means on the surface it doesn't do anything. But of course, Fi will probably play one or two of them. And we've seen other cards that it empowers, like, for example, he has... Um, you know, rise up if it's played as chain link four or higher. It has dominate with X the number of Phoenix Flames you control. So it seems like Phi, and this is this is relevant because um, we're looking at stuff like Breaking Point. We're looking at stuff like Lava Burst. Phi is very much about building big combat chains and then having some sort of payoff at the end, right? So you're going to make a big combat chain with two or three attacks, and then you're going to have a payoff at the end, and that is very much the theme of my card as well. Um, so if we just jump, let's just jump straight into it. I've made you guys wait long enough. Okay, I told a little lie. We're going to uh, make you guys wait just a little bit longer uh, while we focus on this art. I mean, this is fantastic art. So you can see, like, it's a very dynamic piece of art where you've got basically the guy going through a flowing of three attacks. Um, so the guy in the background, he's doing one strike down. He's doing one strike from the side and he's finishing here. This is a very aggressive sort of ninja art, but it's also like one of the reasons that ninja is such a great class is that the art is actually genuinely fantastic. So the card then is called Take the Tempo. It costs one. It is a red. Um, ninja has a very specific cost profile for one. And a few of you who are paying attention might have seen it already flashed across the screen. But this is, in fact, a 5 for 3 attack. It is a Majestic. Um, so we've got this basic template of 1 for 5. Doesn't break Phantasms, but is a very aggressive attack. Um, currently, this is a bit of a weird spot because we've got Torrent of Tempo. And Torrent of Tempo is like on the fringe of usefulness in Ninja cards because it gives itself go again on hit. But it doesn't actually, you know, lend itself towards, um, you know, towards, you know, hitting much aside from just being an annoying card to block we do know that five is an annoying number to block so that's kind of a bit relevant there um but let's just have a look at that ability right and you remember i talked about payoff for long combat chains well this is exactly one of those so when take the tempo hits if you've hit three or more times this combat chain banish the top card of your deck if it is an attack action card you may play it until the end of your next turn so we see a repeat of the wording from Break Tide. 
um, basically rewarding you for having that attack action card in your deck and having a deck that is very dense with attack actions, which is, of course, something that Ninja wants. Uh, we see it building for the next turn, because if it banishes something good, then you can obviously play your t next turn around it. But, of course... If you get Go Again on this card, Ninja has a lot of different ways to get Go Again. Razor Reflex, Snapdragon Scalers. You can then play that attack action to have a fourth combat chain. So we can see lots of interesting synergies where maybe you're attacking with your weapons. You hit once, you hit twice. You attack with a Phoenix Flame. That hits because it's only one. And then you're going to play Take the Tempo. Maybe you're going to banish a Breaking Point. And suddenly you're coming in for an extra five right or you're just setting up for the next turn into one of the big combo cards like a rise up giving yourself more resources to do what you need to do right it's quite a powerful card the main thing i like about this um is the synergy with um with uh uh mask of momentum because remember a lot of people block around mask of momentum so they'll block your second kadachi but they won't block your third attack right now if you're playing something like 100 wins they might not block your 100 wins so then they take three damage then if you come in with take the tempo um basically what you're saying is give me two blocks or i draw that card anyway for next turn right so even if they successfully play around mask of momentum the entire time um you know they actually you know have to sort of you know deal with this anyway so it's kind of like this punishing people for not correctly blocking ninja but also then even when they do correctly block giving you some more tools to make sure that you're still winning and i especially like sort of the name of this card isn't that right folksy i like the name of this card um see he's nodding um because essentially this card is taking the tempo it's saying do i get an extra attack next turn which you have to deal with then, or are you giving me two cards or a card and a piece of armor now? It's a very demanding card for your opponent, which justifies the take the tempo aspect of it. Now, for those of you, just now that we've finished with the actual spoiler, I know a lot of you are going to leave. For those of you who are interested, uh, the tweet I put out of Sunglasses Guy uh, was at the back, so you can kind of see it up there at the back. Uh, this is Sunglasses Guy. He wasn't a cloud or an ice element or anything. He was just leaves in a cloud that does look slightly like a panda. Um, you'll also see some great pandas in here. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I think this is a great piece of art. I think it's fantastic. I really love the dynamicness of it. It's one of the reasons I really love uh, Ninja. Um, also, I will say that for you law buffs who are paying attention, this person is wearing a mask, which is similar to the masks that the Crimson Haze wear, which on the original Torrent of Tempo art, on the original Torrent of Tempo art, we see a very similar uh, dynamism where it's, you know, one person, in this case, Ira doing three attacks in kind of like a circle, but she's attacking one of the blue ninjas. And then in this one, obviously, we have a blue ninja doing basically the same thing to one of Ira's clan. So this is kind of an interesting juxtaposition. I don't think this is Katsu, but it definitely is someone from Katsu's tribe. So it's kind of funny the way that they're sort of like playing against each other. Um, and I just I just think it's quite an interesting um, reverse. We've got Torrent Tar of Tempo juxtaposed with Take the Tempo. I mean, this gets go again, so it's more of a threat, but there are enough ways to give something go again that this is a big threat. And if you say, like, force your opponent to block for eight because they're worried about Razor Reflex giving this go again, you're actually in a really nice situation. So there's a lot to be gained from this sort of thing. And also, just to clarify for people before you get confused, um, because the question of whether you've hit three or more times happens after the initial hit trigger, this will count itself in in the hit count so you hit once with kadachi twice with kadachi and then you hit with this if your opponent does not block you you will banish a card and draw a card from mask right they will both happen at the same time you can choose the way that the triggers resolve there we go fantastic card will it find a place in phi i'm not sure all the cards we've seen for phi so far are very draconic focused and remember we've talked heavily about how lss are very keen to keep different pools of cards siloed by creating very theme dependent and theme synergistic um cards so you know 
in Aria, you had all the cards you had to run to enable fusing properly. In this set, you're going to have all the cards you need to run to enable draconic uh, synergy to work properly, which means that the slots you have for cards like this will be very, very limited. And you're going to be sharing those cards with all the existing great ninja cards like Leg Tap, which has Go Again, you know, like um, Flick Flack. You know, there's so many great ninja cards already um, that this may struggle to find a slot. But equally, you know, the problem we've seen with Break Tide, right? The only reason that Break Tide isn't one of the best cards in the game is that its combo starter is very weak. This, on the other hand, doesn't need any sort of combo starter. It just needs your opponent to let hits through. And if you're playing Fi and say your weapon attacks for one, your Phoenix Plume attacks for one, you have another attack for one, you Minoism for three, eventually your opponent isn't going to block all these little attacks for one. And then you're going to come in with Take the Tempo and say, are you blocking me now? Or am I getting more cards next turn to do this again? It's a great question. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a departure from my usual style. As I've said before, I do like to do little bits of trying new things and special stuff, um, you know, for these um, for these specific videos. Um, you know, so if you liked it, let me know. If there were bits you didn't like, let me know. And I will be sure to think about how to address those next time. I hope you're having a fantastic preview season. I obviously am as well. And if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel yet, I really would appreciate it. Um, you know, I can only get preview cards as long as my channel keeps growing. So thank you very much and goodbye.